Well, that went a little extra long because I had a phone call. Hi, guys. I was going to show you this, too, but you know what? It's There's no point. There it is. It's just the de-evolution of the Sims logos. Um, yeah, so just remember the site's a little bit screwy at the moment because we're changing hosts. So there are some things that are not working correctly. Like, for example, I am currently reading the chat with um, the Chitango, vinesaucevidya.chitango.com. And it's just a white page. So every everyone's text is against a white background, which I can't stand. I hate it, but I, I have no choice right now. We'll, we'll get that fixed do, uh, soon, though. Dyer's going to work on some stuff, and the site will be in working order soon. He made an FAQ, if anyone was interested. Um, he'll, you know, he'll get to the stuff that's important when he needs to. So, I have to say... I had a really tough time waiting for this game to come out. I've had it for a week, and it's like the temptation to just play it. Uh, it's It was hard. It was really hard. Um... All I wanted to do was play the goddamn game. Uh, also, I think I have something for you guys. It was... Uh... Here you go. Check this out. This was sent to me by someone named Sky. There's a Shovel Knight pushmo if anyone's interested. Anyway, we're going to start from the beginning with Shovel Knight. I'm going to delete my save files. That's right. Delete them. Uh, the game came out today, and if you haven't heard of this game, I think you'll probably like this. All right, yeah, chat's nice and slow right now. Let's let's try to keep it that way if we can. Um, I know I'm gonna probably go out soon to uh, get some food with my friend, but until then, we could shovel a bit. Might be, you know, might be like an hour. So, just like I've I've been waiting to play this for so long, I'm not going to. I, I'm not going to wait any longer. God damn it! <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, thank you, Shik. Let me click that instead. Oh, perfect. Thank you. That makes things so much better. All right, let me know if the volume is is too uh, if it's too loud or whatever. Hopefully, the chat loads. One second, guys. This chat's not loading. Let me try again. So I can tell you a little bit about... Okay, volume's good. I can tell you a little bit about the graphics. And about how they approach the... Um... And how they approach the aesthetic style. So, for example, the NES had a 52 color palette. This game has a slight bit more. I'll explain in a bit. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into the life into a life of solitude.
But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Best name ever for a group of villains. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. What will these baddies dig up this time? For chivalry. Alright. So, um... This game cannot be played on an NES. It is extremely close. They kept a lot of things very, very, very true to the spirit of the NES. But, it is a little bit too complex to be played on an NES. Um, for example, there is parallax, parallax scale, uh, scrolling in the background. You know, that, that really was limited on the NES. I don't, even, I don't think it was possible at all, but you'll notice different layers. Just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Um, the NES color palette is pretty much exactly as it should be. Also, I feel like this is too loud. I can't hear myself. Maybe I'll just lower the volume on my end. Um, so, yeah, the color palette is, is 52 colors, but every now and then, they threw in a different color. Like, some things just didn't quite work with the NES color palette. And um, I'm definitely okay with that. I love that. I love what they did. They made it look like an NES game, but they took all the things that made the NES extra limited, and they took a closer look at some of them, and they were like, okay, let's, let's, um, let's add another color. Let's, uh, you know, make the scrolling look better. Let's get rid of the slowdown. Let's get rid of the flicker when there's eight sprites on the screen at the same time. Um, stuff like that. Music is, from what I've read, 100% faithful, though. The music is done using um, a program that is designed to sound exactly like an NES sound chip. In fact, if there's any echo or reverb in the music, that was actually done completely by hand, completely manually, just like it was in the NES days. No extra effects were added. So the guy who made the music really did a fantastic job with this. I love the music, it's so catchy. Famitracker, yeah. Thanks, Chick. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much... Whoa. Oh, do you see that? My character went away for a second. I don't know what's going on. I think that was obviously intentional, but... It's the first time I've seen my character disappear when taking damage. Hey, Zazzy. Whoa. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much... Aesthetically, the game is, is pretty big. There are things that were not possible on the NES, but they still kept it very close. For example, some enemies they designed and they felt a little bit too 16-bit. And they were like, okay, you know what? We need to we need to scale it back a bit. So for example, King Knight, there's um, a picture going around of King Knight where he's like extra detailed and he's got some you know tons of colors on him. You know, the colors are really, like, detailed. There's there's a lot of it. They revised him to make him look more like an NES sprite. And they stuck to about five colors per sprite, per, like, you know, enemy. And they also kind of kept the same block style as the NES. I don't know how to explain it. There's an article that I read all of this just last night, and it was fascinating to me. But, um... They, they intentionally and purposefully kept certain things limited. And then other things they revised. So, um, for anyone who missed my preview of the game the other day, I can tell you that the game controls really well. It's a mix of like Mega Man, Zelda 2, When you die, that happens. You can you can get your stuff back, your money. Um, it's even got a little Castlevania feel to it with the sub weapons, and the main map is kind of like um, 
the main map is, is kind of like Mario 3. So there's, you know, elements from some of your favorite NES games in this. Uh, also, I can't change the ticker because the site is still a little bit broken. It will be, it will be fixed. Don't you worry about a thing. Uh, what else? Oh, there's another thing I wanted to say. Um, there's differences. The 3DS version has some differences. There's a street pass mode. The Wii U version has like a digger's diary, and I believe it's got that. Um, it's got co local co-op for when that mode is released, and also it's got uh, Miiverse implementation. Steam has a bunch of other things too. Achievements, you know, integrated. Um, also, what else? There was something else too. Um, oh yeah, yeah, extra features. For example, there's going to be a mode where you can play as different knights. The, the boss knights. So, oh, is that so, Carrie? If you die while trying to get your stuff back, you just lose that stuff, and then you go into this endless loop. I think the game is 15 bucks, I'm not sure. But yeah, there's there's still stuff that's... They wanted to release a finished single-player product um, and not delay it any further. So instead, we're going to get an update that you can download. There's a multiplayer mode. There's a gender swap mode. And there is a mode where you can play as all of the boss knights. So that's quite a bit of content. We just have to wait for it. So, there is one thing that is good and bad in this game. It's when you attack an enemy from the side that doesn't die in one hit, you get knocked back. You get pushed back a little bit. So, you have to be careful when attacking enemies near a ledge, for example. See? Right there, that was it. You have to know when to attack and when not to attack. Okay. Secrets everywhere, as I explained during my preview the other day. Zelda 2 down thrust with the shovel is so good. Or you may recognize it from DuckTales. The down shovel move is like a mix of the down thrust from Zelda and the um, thing from DuckTales. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. Then her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to get through me. Steal thy shovel. Shoot, shoot the thing at me. Awesome, right? Come on. Oh! Come on, just two more hits. Gotcha. Um, well, he doesn't turn invisible. It's just he blinks really fast, and when I stream it, It looks like, uh... 
it looks like when I'm streaming it, it, it makes him almost invisible, which is weird. It's a problem with the refresh rate, I believe. You don't go invisible, it just... I, I'm streaming at 30 frames a second, so it's affecting the flicker, as Vet Vetus just said. Vetus? Vetus? I don't know. <laughs> Catch her. Oh, is that his dreams? I just skipped by that cutscene last time. Okay, so here's, um... Halt, no weapons. We have enough to worry about lately with everyone swinging swords around. Ah, ah, that's no weapon, just a shovel. You may enter then, and don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. If you're getting stressed out, try fishing. You never know what you'll catch. Attention horse is just walking around. Hail, Traveler. I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lay scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me, and I shall reward you handsomely have two. Strike the earth. Ostinato trumpet. Triplets. Is there anything else I can... I can't... Is there anything else you can't render into pure magic? I don't have the music sheet. I can perform it for you anytime you want. Play me a song, sir. Let's hear, uh... You've got a pretty face, you should come visit often. So here's the stuff I, I wasn't showing you the other day. Whoa. Pottage and poultry, mutton and meat. Your maximum health will, health will increase if you eat. Bring me a meal ticket and I'll whip up a feast. Gotitian might have some. Now where's that sly beast? Ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket? Maximum magic, but no relics. Uh, you need relics first. Down the ladder, he always has the weirdest things. A meal ticket. Okay. Maximum health increased by one. Croker. Hey, Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. What's this? Oh, right. I gotta get one of those. That's good. That's good. Hey, blue guy. You wouldn't believe the merchandise I got for you today. Why not have a look? My first sub-weapon. The Chaos Sphere. Wow. Just randomly noticed that the wall was off, and that happened. Juice made. Oh, what's this? Ooh, that's Spectre Knight. If someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Oh, I gotta close my window. Hang on a sec. Oh, it is closed. Whoops. My, uh, my next door neighbors are really close to where I stream, so they could probably hear everything I say. If I have my window open, woe is me, the king of nothing, not to rule but my lone bar stool. King Knight sits on Pridemore's throne, that gilded goon, he'll get his soon. Double, treble, soil, and shovel, my third eye knows your useless infos. Ex show the number of dig piles you've dug is seven. The amount of gold you've collected is 6,400 and something, the number of times you've fallen is one. I've spent 14 minutes adventuring. 
Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I am not a witch! <sighs> I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here, shall we pass the time with a little game? Yes. Target practice. those top ones. Come on. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, poop. 106. I guess that's okay. How much did, did I get from that? 1,500. That means I can go get a fishing rod. I love this guy's moves. He's like, what, what is he, what is he doing? This, this guy. Press up and press three, cast into a pit. Oh, okay. Alright, I haven't done any fishing yet, so... So these are your sub-weapons. Cast into a pit and wait for a bite. I'm curious about that. That is a... He was doing a suck my dick pose. He was like... Gah! Hoop kid. Nice stick. Come on, let's play. Are you really the Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt. No one else could have done that except me. The Shovel Knight. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's BS. There's a thing up there, there's music up there. See, how do I... How do I get up there? Hmm. Shovel Knight, many trials await you. Don't despair. May each defeat strengthen your resolve. Oh, there you go. Truple pond. Giant fish. I've seen this already, and then I did one, I did King Knight, so... Uh, dost thou need aid? I sense a truple chalice. I can fill it with magical ichor. That's pronounced ichor. Choose your ichor wisely. Invincible. Absorb nearby treasure. And health and magic. Let's do that one. A new initiate joins us. The ceremony shall commence. Yes, I'm dancing as Shovel Knight right now. That's the only thing I can do is, is like, press the down button. And he kind of ducks a little bit. <laughs> I wonder if I have to watch this every single time I get a potion. Fare thee well, Shoveled Knight. 
Return if thou hast need my aid again. Okay. Oh, I love the music on this level. Yo. Sword, I want that. I want to use it. Uh, an apple core. A skull. Them's not good fishing down here. Sword Knight. <laughs> Most original game. Do not steal. Well, what if what if I could use the sword as a throwing weapon? And I could throw the sword. That would be cool. That's where I go fishing right there. That sparkly pit. Oh, golden fish. Cool. I could throw a sword and use a shield to, um... Oh god, but what I use the shield for? What would Shovel Knight use a shield for? To surf on? I like these helicopter rats, they're fun. So, I'm gonna show you a little trick. Maybe you guys didn't know about this, people that have the game. Not this, not this, this right here, watch. See the checkpoint? Fuck the checkpoint. You can break them if you want. Now, I can't respawn from that checkpoint ever again. I think. But, if I'm confident that I won't die, then yeah, you can, you can break the checkpoints and get some extra gold. I did tell you guys during the preview about it, but in case anyone didn't know... Whoops. I'm not one to destroy all the checkpoints, but... Oh, this part. Yeah, this, this is why I didn't destroy that other checkpoint. I remember this. This was... That one was a little tricky. But, totally worth it. <laughs> in the village, or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? Flare wand. Yes. Fireballs. It's 
music is awesome. It does sound like Tall Tall Heights from Link to the Past a little bit, doesn't it? Please let there be chicken. Oh, it's an apple. That's good. Which way am I supposed to go? I, I don't remember. That's the that's the way to go. Right. So this has gotta be secret. Double secret. This game is packed with content. So people that are complaining that it's 15 bucks. I mean, it may seem a little expensive for a, an 8-bit type game. But it's like a 10-hour game. And there's a new game plus and multiplayer mode is planned. And you can play as every enemy at, soon enough. So you're you're getting some decent amount of gameplay here. It's not like, oh, three hour game and then it's over. I've spent $60 on 10 hour experiences that I've had less fun with. Give me all the fucking chickens. Helicopter rats, you need to die. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I know you're not hurting anyone, but you need to die. You're spreading bubonic plague. I'll bet you there's a secret up there. I'll bet you any amount of money. We gotta find it. I didn't see this last time I played the game, when I did this level a week ago. I did not figure that there would be a secret up here. Nice! Good money. A lot of money in there. And another secret. By the way, when you go in front of the, um, the top here, that was intentional. They, they did that as an homage to the NES games because um, a lot of NES games put the... Um, you know, your information at the top. I don't want to say UI, but maybe it is called that. Uh, as a background layer. So your character would just go behind it or go in front of it. It wasn't, like, intentional back then. They just had to do it. They just killed themselves. See, these guys remind me of Zelda 2. Except the Zelda 2 guys did not put a shield above their head. That's awesome.
What's this? Another secret? Levels are pretty long, too. You get five, like, I think it's four or five checkpoints per level. So you're, you know... It's not... Oh! Oh. This one has six checkpoints. So you're not just, like, playing the game and, like, oh. Level's over already. Guess it's time to play a different game. This is why you have to kill helicopter rats. They're bastards. Don't let them fool you. This should remind you guys a little bit of Mega Man 2. Wait, stay thy fork, knight. I bring gifts from the Trupal Knight King. But you can't carry anymore. Come find me once when you have a spare chalice. Oh, okay. Well, I don't need a full chalice right now. I don't I don't need I have everything I need, so let's just move on. I had a sneaking suspicion there was a secret there. I was wrong. That was a little tricky. Time to face King Knight. We have to dethrone him. I'm gonna commit a regicide. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. I am no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence! He, he frolics around the, the throne room. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Trumpets. Okay, now remember, I, I have defeated this boss once before. I still don't know what the trumpets do. But, uh, he was extra easy for me this time around. I actually died on him the first time I attempted him. Decadent dandy. One second, guys. One second. Listen to the beautiful noises of nature emulated on an NES chip.
Okay, so there you go. Like Mario 3, every now and then, a random enemy appears on the world map, and you have to slay him. You have to go through his level. So it's like a mix of Mario 3 and Zelda 2, where like the enemies would appear, and, and you'd have like a level. Like a mini level to uh, complete. So GameStop, or GameSpot gave this game a what? They gave it a 7 out of 10 with no negative points. That's cool. That's it. Just a short, simple level. I'm sure they get a lot harder, but... the decadent dandy. You wouldn't believe how many revisions King Knight demanded. He's what we call a nightmare client. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you at any time. Just ask. I want to upgrade my magic. Yes. Ma maximum magic increase by 10. Yes, please. Twice in a row. I don't need a meal ticket right now. Oh, I bought all of his stuff. The king of fruit and fish! Long may his stem grow. <laughs> his stem. Swell sword. Oh, meal tickets are getting a lot more expensive now, huh? Um, I'm gonna hold off for now. I think I, I should be good for the next level. I'm in the business of fucking up hoops. Here we go. It's shoveling time, the Lich Yard. This is all new for me now, guys. I'm officially in the dark as much as you are about what's what's to come. If you want to avoid spoilers, now is a good time to leave. Oh, that's interesting. So you, you attack the broccoli, it comes out of the ground. And then you can jump on the broccoli for added jump height. Electric frogs. I'm not okay with this. There's a little ghost fella. Oh, how the fuck do you kill this guy? Guys, what the hell do I do with this thing? up there. I, I missed something. There's a secret. I can tell. Oh, they're not coming close enough. Alright, we're good. Secret? Oh, 
I guess ghosts are just designed to be an annoyance. You know, like, like an obstacle, pretty much. And when you destroy their headstones, more of them appear, so... Yeah, just avoid that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Skeleton in the wall. Oh, oh, shit. Big skeleton. This is too scary. If you're if you're a child under the age of, of 15, <laughs> you, you need to leave now. This is too scary for you. Skeletons, please. That was that was spooky. Fear of falling down an endless pit is always spooky. I'll eat every fucking chicken in this place. Oh shit, suicide skeleton. That's a creepy pasta. The skeleton that committed suicide. Someone needs to write like a short story, like a two-page story about suicide skeleton. He's as scary as suicide mouse. Oh god, what is this? Oh no. Strobing effects, please. Can't see. Can't see. Oh, that was terrible. That was awful. But we made it out all right. Jumping his bones at this point. Oh, it adds weight. I see the. I see how that works now. Too much weight. Get off it. Ah, okay. Oh God. I was pressing up and I wasn't pressing right enough. You mean I gotta do this part again? Oh my god, no! Lamest death ever! No, it actually counted. Alright, so it's just this part. I'll recover. Got it. I got my stuff back. We're good.
can't see. get down there, so what I want to do is this. Fuck off, frog. I gotta get to the left there. Blood Bagel. Coming soon to a record store near you. Oh, there, there's this guy. I was waiting for him. <laughs> you have all the deals? I want to see what you found. Escape from harm briefly. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I can see it being useful, but how much does it cost? Eight. Whereas this is six, this is four. Beans will never get old. Oh god, why why do you keep posting beans? That fucking song. My cousin used to do exactly what you're doing. He would just come over and put beans on. And we would just listen to beans for like a good 15 minutes for no reason. And I was a kid, I loved it. I was like, oh, it sounds like Alvin and the Chipmunks. And then I started listening to Nirvana a lot. And then I got depressed because Nirvana made me depressed. I became- I was the world's first emo because li of listening to Nirvana music. And then the Bean song made me happy again, but only for a brief time. No, I, I never cut myself. I know you're joking, but just for the record, no, I was- I'm just kidding. I, I got into Nirvana when I was like 10. Oh shit. Skeleton trap. these levels, man. Oh, please, please, please. I think most people, like, my age or KY's age had, like, a Nirvana phase at some point. It's just... They, they had really good songs. And Kurt had a great voice. That was his greatest asset. That and, uh, he was a good songwriter. But, uh, yeah. I, I probably took it a little bit further than most people did. Because I, I learned everything about them and I bought the bootlegs. I used to, I told you guys on the stream that I used to buy like the, 
the fake albums that people would make that I thought were real. And what they would do is, um... Before I read this, I'll just tell you a quick funny story. I used to go to Wildwood, New Jersey, and there would be these record stores that would, well, CD stores, whatever, music stores. You go in, and they would have, like, you know, Nirvana only had, like, four studio albums, five including the live, um... Wait, yeah, four, uh, Bleach, Incesticide, Nevermind, In Utero, and five including Unplugged. So I would go to these places and look for these albums, and there would be all these albums. I was like, wow, Nirvana had a lot of records, a lot of albums, and I would buy it, or I'd look at the back, and there would be like 20 songs, 10 of which I had never heard the names of, and then the rest of them were like rare demos, and like, you know, live versions. So I bought like, I had like four of these different CDs at various points. The songs with different names were the same songs that we knew from like Bleach, for example, except they would change the name of them so people would buy the fucking CD. And then the demo versions were just like fake versions of the real song. What they would do is they would like speed it up by 1% or they would play it through like a boom box and then record it. So it sounded like a demo, but it was just the same song. I knew what they were doing. Even when I was like 10, 11 years old, I knew exactly what they were doing. Those sons of bitches. So I eventually stopped buying the bootlegs and the live versions were just like assified versions like, I wouldn't be surprised if some of those live versions, they just put an audience, like, deep in the background and just played the CD version with less quality. And uh, it was just some jerks making CDs in their basement, selling them. If you're interested, uh, Google a thing called Outcesticide. There was eight CDs. And they were just, like, banking money off of Kurt, Kurt Cobain. So, so stupid. Anyway, this is no place for the living mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time, as we saw with your beloved shield knight. Lies. I won't believe such talk from phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. <laughs> the enchantress is just full of surprises. She granted me a new life so that I may take yours. With the lights out, it's less dangerous. Fuck. Now I'm getting wrecked. I was doing pretty well up until this light bullshit happened. Turn the lights on. Fuck me. Gotcha, asshole. You're a phony. You're a charlatan. You faker. saved her. That was just a dream. It's always just a dream. Poor Shovel Knight.
meal ticket. I can upgrade my health now. And suddenly more of the world has revealed itself. Oh my. What's this? Is this like a challenge? That's pretty cool. That was cool. I I love I love when games do shit like this. Let's see. Oh, you found the apparition. When I presented this theme to Spectre Knight, he started conducting with that huge sight. Glad I ducked out of the way in time. Yeah. Extra health. guy keeps running out of relics. It's like, have more, man. Buy a second vessel. Croker has nothing to say. this? <laughs> Broccoli Head is dancing quite wonderfully. King Knight reigns no more. Huzzah! I can now rule pride more. Okay, have fun. It just struck me that you could, like, jump and attack these things. Just now it hit me. 142. It's not very good. What? I should go for 150 next time. Alright. Let's go for 150 then. Ah, 
shit. How about fuck your 150? Let's go for 250. Did I get... Ah, damn it. Shit. Almost 250. Might as well buy another meal ticket. I don't know how hard it's going to get from here on out, so... Its only reaction was, oh, oh, it's okay, I guess, whatever. Sorry, was not it brooding enough for you? Maybe I'll do one more level, and then uh, I'll go eat forests. Like spikes, if only I could phase away to safety, I could cross and get so much treasure. I know what that means. It's a little bit of treasure, it's not a whole lot. I should have done. Alright. Oh, spikes are insta death. true warriors strive for. I know you can barely see the character because of the, the flicker. It sucks. I wish it wasn't like that. But streaming Shovel Knight, that's what's going to happen. Okay, that was pretty cool. Uh, what, what next? Plague Knight. Treasure Knight. Knuckler's Quarry, Mole Knight, and I can't really do any of the other ones at the moment. Uh, there's a town there. I'm gonna go for Plague Knight.
Oh, fuck this. Oh, shit, Plague Rats. Oh, wrong button. Treasure. It's got like that Spelunky, like, treasure hunter thing. Like in Spelunky, I just love collecting treasure. Just It's just addictive. In this game, it's the same thing. Also, there's a game called Treasure Nuts that you guys, I probably talked about, and I showed in my PAX video a little bit. Um, that looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm using the Wii Classic controller for this. The controls are great. Um, the game is already calibrated for the Wii Classic controller. Like, you know, if you have the adapter, you're in good shape. You're ready to go. It works really good. music. So far this game has impressed me. Every piece of music I've heard has been pretty quality. I like how there's, like, there's different types of dirt. There's dirt that you can only go through once, and then there's dirt that you can just, like, dig through the whole time. Like, one down thrust will take out all the dirt. You know when your game is called Shovel Knight, you have to have good dirt physics. to get out of here. It's, it's not working. Nice. See? There's a different type of dirt. That was more like silt than dirt, I would say. New sub weapon time. Toss a coin for a chance at riches. What the fuck, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. I thought it was like, like, throw the coin and you might get money, but this is actually a really powerful sub weapon. Awesome. I'm 
when the rats make their little noises, I think of uh, Chrono Trigger. You know, you know what I'm talking about. People that know Chrono Trigger. You remember in uh, the future, in Chrono Trigger, where there was uh, that rat that was the statue that you had to tr like chase around in the upper part of the vents. And he just keeps running away from you and he makes that noise every two seconds. That sound effect is drilled into my head. Oh, come on. Something stupid like that killed me. Oh my god. I'm not even halfway through this level yet. Jesus. What other sound effects are drilled into your head? from video games, like noises that you've heard, or phrases, or anything. Zubat scream. Here's one for you. Approaching sound barrier! This beast still be under warranty! Move over, sister! Pretty much all of those. I would like to get that music, but I don't think I'll be able to. Come this way, come this way, come this way. Come this way. Come closer, come on, you're getting there, you're getting there. Changing mag! These guys are pretty much exactly the Zelda 2 dudes. You know which ones I'm talking about. The red guys that look like that monster from the Looney Tunes cartoons. I don't think I'll be able to... It's close. It's real close. I have an idea. Other way. Go the other way. Other way, other way. I know I gotta come through the roof, but I'm, I'm trying to cheese. No cheese allowed. We're not getting that music. It's fine. The Mad Alchemist. Oh god, he turned into a Yeti. Couldn't see my character either, guys. I, I, he looked invisible to me. Holy fuck. Night, the king of fish and fruit. Long may his stem grow. I got invincibility potion. Uh, guys, guys. I have no idea how that happened. I can't believe that. I, I can't get that now. That, that's it. It's over. That money is gone forever. So long, money. You will be missed. 
I don't know why I did that. I think I overcorrected. And, and, uh, and yeah, that was great. Awesome. Let the slow claps commence. platforming. Shitting me? You know there's a secret down there, right? I can see it. I'm not going to attempt it, but I, it looks like a secret. There's a discolored patch of wall. even catch the messages. No. What messages? Fishing rod? I missed the fishing rod area. Oh, yeah. There, well, there's a 30 second delay. I missed it. I could have got it again, right? Fuck. You can fish them. Oh, I didn't know you could fish. God damn it. Thank you. You could fish up the money. I did not even consider that. Okay. Well, it's gone now. It could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. So I'm, I'm just thankful that it wasn't. These, like, shadow, uh, Shovel Knight Spectres. Game certainly ramped up the difficulty pretty, pretty quickly. Plague Knight. <laughs> Leave me alone. Show yourself, Plague Knight. Your trickery will not stop me. Trickery? <laughs> the fruits of my research are no mere trick. Boom. He 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 he. Now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise. He. <laughs> it will be enlightening. That was... that was a given. does some pretty good damage. It does like a whole health bar or health circle. If you can hit with it, I, I can't see Shovel Knight. I can't see him. 
almost dead. One more hit. Gotcha, bitch. No dreams this time. Shh, no dreams, only shovels. Oh, what the hell is this? North from Pride Moor, west at the fork. Oh, bother, I must have passed it already. Well met, traveler. Oi! Maybe you can help me. I think I've got lost. I was trying to, uh, wait a second. You're that knight with the shovel. Indeed, I am the, the knight with a shovel who has been menacing the village. I, I, I assure you, I have done no such. Th You're going to use that shovel to bury innocent people? Your reign of terror ends here. I don't know why that voice happened. Really a boss? Just like out of nowhere? Is this Yuffie? Yuf Yuffie Kisaragi? Whatever the fucking name. Shovel Knight, do it. Gotcha. Do your worst, villain. Strike me down. I'm no villain. We're fighting a common enemy. We... We, we are. Why don't you say so? I feel like a fool now. Think nothing of it, friend. Knights are strongest when they work together. Uh, knight's coat. Uh, first bow. Always help a person in need. Knock them down. Shovel Knight. Beautiful plumage. Was that like a Kickstarter backer? Is that what that was? I don't know why I gave him that voice. I, have no, I, don't, I have, don't know. Whatever. Armor Outpost. Our scouts saw you approach, and we know of your quest. This is the armor outpost. The brave and hold. The braver hold up here. Deep in enemy territory. It's dangerous. Get equipped. Well, this guy's swollen. This be the aerial anvil. Need an armor upgrade? If you need something forged, I'm your feller. Whoa. There's a lot of armor choices. Heavily plated, keep your footing when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. Sacrifice some protection for a higher magic limit. Harvest magic from defeated foes. Perform two consecutive shovel, shovel drops to unleash a powerful charge slash. It's a nice shovel blade you have there, lad, but I can improve it. Unlock its true abilities. Hold your attack to unleash a powerful slash. Dig up a whole pile in one mighty motion. Slash to spark the ground when you're at full health. That's pretty cool. Horns, the finest instruments, but they really only come to life in a duet. Just 
chicken. I'm just gonna look around a bit before I spend any more money. We languish like lubbers while treasure night sails. Under the waves, in his dread iron whale, his treachery scares all the fish in the sea. Do us a favor and thrash him for me. Toter, I'm so grumpy, I'm just not in a good mood. I wish someone would cheer me up. Well, okay, I'll give it a shot. Uh, why would they just leave the catapult un unattended? The operator is out to launch. He didn't like it. Have you heard the gastronomer is starting to cook with bouillon? I tried some, but my soup was gold. Oh god, awful jokes. Oh, that king knight, he's so regal, such a fine fashion sense, but honestly, I'd rather be your queen. Ah, uh, ah, ah. Hats. My greatest passion. Nothing I enjoy more than a crisp snap of a well-tailored brim. Part with... Nay. Nay. Why do they want my gold? Alright, fine. Here. There's one. There's two. And... Three. Feet accomplished. Nice hat. Ah, uh, my precious hats! That's a lovely helmet. So lovely, so lovely. I must inquire, sir, about your curious collection. Uh, travel the land far and wide. I do searching, learning, tra teaching, collecting all shapes, all sizes. Hats! Each one I wear grants me a new power. And your hat looks powerful indeed. Intriguing, but I am rather attached to my helmet. Yes, yes, about that. What? Yo, what? The fuck? Why is he attacking me? What have I, what have I done to him? Fuck you, man! Just spent 3,000 gold to fight a fucking boss. Enough! I know not what came over me. Uh, my hunger for hats to control your beautiful hat. It, it's a helmet. I know! I knew that! Ah, we're in good health, for now. Alright, well, off I go then. Seriously, guys, what the fuck was that just now? I got 5,000 gold for winning the fight. Oh! Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, what armor do I want? I want... Um... Ornate plate is useless. That one looks good. Two consecutive drops. Save money for the spark thing. 
Gold makes you have fancy jumps, I see. Okay. Yo, what the fuck? Why does everyone want to kill me in this game? This is a Kickstarter backer. Ah, oh, I can't believe this. Trouble friend, have you lost your way? But the best gear and the slickest armor and the strongest rope. Uh, par pardon? Are, are you in need of help? The stuck-up order of no-quarter clowns have no idea what they're missing. Hey, you look like a knight. A shovel knight at your service, but I'm not in a league with... So I heard that if you beat a knight, you get to take a little... You take their title, right? Please, uh, don't do something you regret. I don't want to... The Great Bass Knight! <laughs> like the sound of that. They'll have no choice but to accept me now. Come on, let's do this. Look at this jabroni. Oh, wow, he's... Whoa, 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 jabroni powers activate. Sorry, Baz. No way. Not even my best moves could phase you. Hang on. Phone. One sec. Well fought. If you can accept defeat like a true knight, you'll always have your dignity. Now they'll never let me into the order. Never, ever, ever. You just keep annoying him. Yeah, dynamo armor is really good. Uh, let's do this little bit right here and then I'll... I'll get going. Just no way to punch through. I wish I could just dash through all this dirt. Oh, I don't I don't have the ability to dash through dirt. But uh, it's a move I don't have yet. Hall of Champions. This is the Hall of Champions, a living monument to the founders of this great land. Admission for one, 5,000 gold. Nope. Okay, it's time for me to stop, but before I do that, I gotta go to the Trupal Pond real quick. Okay. Try this one. Let's see if it's any good. This guy's the best. Very suspicious mushroom. Um, the game saves automatically, right?
Next up is Mole Knight and Treasure Knight. Alright, but the game does save automatically, so let's... Let's quit. So there you go, there's Shovel Knight. Fucking awesome game. Highly recommended. It's out today. It's on the Wii U, 3DS, and Steam. I don't know if it's on anything else, but... Yeah, I really, really like this game a lot, and I, I'm excited to stream more of it for you guys. Okay, now... Oh, you made a, a creepypasta for Suicide Skeleton. This page has been deleted, it says. Uh, there is nothing there, dude. No, I gotta get going, I gotta eat. Uh, probably later on I'll be streaming more, like tonight. Just for now, though, I'm gonna get going. Um, let's see. What's going on with my phone? It's making weird noises. Okay. Alright, so first art is from Stalker Kenneth. I'm not crying. Just water on my face. From uh, Super Jackal, here's some Mallow pixel art from uh, Pushmo, from Limped, that's a very small picture, from Morg Likes Games, okay, that's Helicopter Rat, uh, from Pe Peke, Pecky, Peche, I'll just say it every time, I'll say the four different versions of it. Shovel Vine Knight. Uh, what else? From Dumulus, here's Helicopter Rat. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, from Z Man 110, here's um, <laughs> Shovel Knight throwing a sword, because why not? Uh, from Tannhauser, The Lay of Vine Sauce. They say that the they say that there, in times of old, a gang of heroes Vine Sauce named in the net's deep web in every night with courage bold, grabbed their mouse's trusty swords and rode into hellish jousts before Chitango's hordes. <laughs> awesome. Uh, from Stalker Kenneth, what is that? It's a donut? You have got Nirvana Rare Album. It's actually Sh Shrek is Shrek, the movie. You got scammed. Okay. That sucks. All right. Oh, one more. Two more, actually. There's um from Stalker Kenneth again. Black text on black background does not work. But, uh, yeah. And from Iggy-sama. Here's an animated Fred that was just posted. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching Shovel Knight. You should probably check it out. It's a pretty fucking good game. Um, Suicide Skeleton is still not around, so... Oh, here it is. Alright, I'll read Suicide Skeleton for you guys. Why not? This is from um, someone... I asked to make a quick, like, page and a half creepypasta about Suicide Skeleton. Let's see how good it is. And then I'll get going. Um... There comes a time in every man's life when he must look deep inside himself. Deep, deep inside himself. This story, if something of such magnitude as this can be placed at such an insulting level of writing is one of those times. The man's name is Roger Doge. He lives at a dark, scary place, a graveyard, and Roger has the spookiest job imaginable. Dead body checker. Roger got paid only 26000 to dig up dead bodies and check and see if they were still alive. He had been doing this for his 19 years. Roger noticed that after a few weeks, all bodies became skeletons. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No one knew where they came from because only Roger 
was brave enough to look at the bodies. Roger, graduating from Harvard, Harvard, as the valedictorian theorized that the skeletons grew from the body's brains, which had been polluted from watching television and reading books, ate the bodies for food. After, the skeletons could not escape, and they would die. Deciding to test his theory, he needed freshly dead bodies. He had a few enemies, and it just so happened that Roger had an exceptionally sharp knife near him. So Roger did the only logical thing, and cut himself open. He watched himself as he died, seeing the life leave his eyes, with his own eyes. <laughs> However, he would need a better view of his brain, so he cut open his head, and to his surprise, there was already a skeleton in him. Oh my god, my cheeks hurt. Jumping back in fear, the skeleton left his body. Roger, in fear, pleaded with it. He needed to know what it wanted. The skeleton, leaning in close, whispered, I need about tree fitty. Roger, not knowing what the fuck tree fitty was, took up his glock and shot the hell out of the skeleton. He didn't know that his brain was inside the skeleton and he inadvertently killed himself, but Roger didn't need to travel far because hell was right next to him, for he shot it out of the skeleton. The devil smiled, coated in blood, your mom's blood, and he made Roger bend over. A hellhound, a hellhound ejaculated from Satan's penis. Oh, come on, really? Is, is this the direction we're going in? Okay, I'm done. It was so good at first, and now it's just a rape story. No, I'm good. Anyway, thanks guys. That's, uh, that's the stream. Have a great night, everyone. So long. I'll see, I'll see you later on. I'll see you later on. <laughs> Goodbye.